Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So I've gotten a request quite a while ago for um, milk bread. And I just hadn't had time. Well, the next two days I want to use some rolls. And so I asked her, would she mind if I did milk bread rolls? And she said, yeah, go for it. So we're going for it. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we need is three cups of sugar. Or flour, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't put three cups of sugar in there. I did use my new measuring cups for everything else, but this. So there's two. And a third cup of flour. There we go. Then we need a tablespoon of yeast. All right. And a quarter cup of sugar. <laughs> Much different than four cups, right? And we also need a teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to put this up. And we're going to just let this mix for just a minute so that it gets it all mixed in together. So I'm going to grab everything else I need, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we need a cup of warm milk. You don't want it scalding hot, just warm. And you want one large egg at room temperature, or as close to that as you can get. Now, we're going to mix this for one minute on speed two. And then we'll be back. All right, so the next thing is we're going to turn that back on, too. And we're going to put a third cup of softened butter in there. And we're going to let that mix as well. So while that's doing that, I'm going to get the other side of the kitchen ready. All right, we're to the other side of the kitchen now. So the first thing it says to do is spray your pan. And then you want to put wax paper on it. Oh, you know what? I bought the wrong stuff. It's supposed to be parchment paper, not wax paper. So we're just going to spray our pan real good. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll just spray it really, really good. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my surface. Now he didn't roll anything out, but I'm going to roll it out a little bit. Because I'm not as good with dough and stuff as they are, so I'll do what I know how to do. <laughs> so I'm going to make this into a ball. And then I'm going to just get a little bit of flour on both sides. And now they pushed it out to make it good. I'm just going to run this across it a couple times just to kind of get it out there. Not too much because I don't want to ruin them either. And then I can't find my metal cutter. Tom takes care of dishes. <laughs> Chris is going to have to get after Tom. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pizza cutter. And I'm going to cut right down the center. And then down the center again. Then you're going to cut in half. Just like kind of like a pizza. And then if you want bigger rolls, you can stop right there. But they say to cut the halves and halves, which, you know, we'd be quarters. And this works just as good as that metal thing. Alrighty. So now what you want to do is to roll these into the balls so, you, you know, you turn them like this. 
and then get them into a ball. And you want to put them in the pan. I'll do a couple and then I'll get them done and bring you to the next step. Another ball. That one I kind of made really small, didn't I? <laughs> but that's okay. I'm making a Mexican soup tonight for our first night of vegetarian. And then I have something for tomorrow that I'd like to have these rolls with. So, I figured why not do this today? Why not? All right. So let me finish these last ones up and then I'll be right back. All right, so now you're gonna take a towel or you can use whatever you want and you're gonna make sure it's clean and you're gonna cover them for 10 minutes. And what he says is preheat your oven now to 400. By the time it's up to 400, it'll be done. So I'll be back when they're done because there's another thing we gotta do before we put them in the oven. All right, hopefully I didn't screw nothing up because it doesn't look like they rose that much, but we'll see. Now your next thing is you're going to coat that with milk. I know, right? <laughs> I would never have thought to coat bread with milk. Mine may not look like they've expanded as much either because they use an 11 by 11 pan. I don't have an 11 by 11 pan. I've got a 9 by 13 and a 9 by 11. So mine will have to do. <laughs> Tom already asks me, what do you do with all those different size pans and cooking things? And <laughs> We don't need them asking more, do we? <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put these in the oven, and they're going to go in there from 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll be back, and we'll do the last step. All righty, so they're done. Look at that. Oh, I should think I should have made less and made them bigger. So the next thing you're going to do now is rub up butter on them. So Sally, I hope you like these, because they sure do look good. I do try to get all of your guys' requests in, but sometimes it's time and money, to be honest. You know, it's hard to get everything in. And I really do have to focus on my other job, too, at some point here. <laughs> all righty. So... Let's take one of these out. It's piping hot. But let's try one. Oof. It didn't break apart the way I'd like it to, but that's alright because it's really hot and I don't want to handle it. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Alrighty. Milk bread rolls. Let's check it out. Mmm. Mmm. Like you don't even have to chew it. Just move it around in your mouth and it melts. <sighs> they are so good. So give it a try. I'll put the recipe below. And they're good. <laughs> it's really, really good. All right. I guess I didn't mess up on it. That's a good thing. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. I'll see you back for dinner.